pendants for women. Um, the skirts were low, but you know, still feminine, and it's uh, about coming out of the little shell, almost like you know, becoming a butterfly. Your own woman, you're wearing short skirts, and showing more skin, and you're smoking. And we can go out when we want to and cut our hair very short and, and wear dark makeup. And, um, and men wore suits, and as usual, but they and they looked as fashion as women looked French. In the 1800s, Henry Ford started Ford Motor Company selling automobiles. By the 1920s, almost every household in America had one car. In the early 20s, a popular thing to do was go see a movie. They started out black and white with no sound, but by, the 1920, by 1922, the first movie with sound, the jazz scene, came out, and by 1926, the, the first movie with Technicolor was out. In 1927, over 14,500 movie theaters were popping up across the nation, and they showed over 400 films a year. Along with the automobile and movie industry, another craze of the Roaring Twenties was the radio. The popularity of public radio allowed listeners to keep up with national issues and events, while it also allowed listeners to experience new ideas, new entertainment, and to form opinions on matters that had never been shared nationally. Some who listened to the radio too much began to have a hard time distinguishing radio reality from actual reality. But still, with cars and movies and radios, the prosperity that America experienced during the 1920s seemed like it would last forever. In the 1920s, a lot of different things shaped the decade. To be specific, it was jazz, jazz music. Jazz was originated from New Orleans, but then later on, evolved into the jazz that we all know today. Jazz contained trumpets, saxophones, drums, different instruments that made people feel the music. They felt it in their soul to where they could dance. The different dances from the 20s what, that you dance with jazz music are the Charleston, the Lindsay Hop, and my personal favorite, the Camel. Any dance to it. So, from us being from the 1920s, I recommend you try out jazz.
throughout the 1920s. That had originated in New Orleans, diversified, and thus applied to people from every Stop it. little Stop. piece of Stop. 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 Oh my gosh. Rich. Yes. <laughs> Kenya, if you don't record this, then I, have, I swear it's a serious to... question. Now, has look Everything on your face and body looks fine. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You are fine, baby. Okay, okay. okay. Specifically, music. Jazz music. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you know I'm recording you right now. <laughs> Are y'all serious right <laughs> in the 1920s. Fashion, music, technology. But to be more specific, it was that. <laughs> <laughs> to be more specific. <laughs> A lot of different things shaped the decade. But to be more specific, it was jazz music. <laughs> Richard! What's wrong with you? Specific! Specific! Loopers! Can we have a wonderful clap for our cameraman? Hi guys. <laughs> Hi. Yes, Zach Gillis. <laughs> it's Zach Gills. Let's go! Starring as Eleanor Rose, we have Kenya Cavando. Oh, starring as the beautiful Eleanor Rose. <laughs> What's your name again? Oh, the Violent something. Violet Audrey Thompson. Woo! Eleanor's babe. Eleanor Rose jo Johnson. That's babe. Herbert Clyde Johnson. And cameraman. <laughs>